Hey everyone, welcome back, Crown Geek here. So today in this video, I'm breaking down the three absolute best ways to transfer your photos and videos from your iPhone to your Windows PC or laptop. Whether you want something fast and simple, completely wireless or the most reliable method for your entire library. So if you are ready to free up that phone storage and finally get more memories where they belong, stick around and without any further delay, let's quickly get started. All right, so we will start with the method number one, that is the traditional and the basic method where you will have to use a data cable to connect your PC or laptop with the iPhone. And once you connect to the iPhone, you will be prompted with this kind of message, allow this device to access photos and videos. So you need to tap on allow. And once you tap on allow, then if you go back to your PC or laptop and bring up the file explorer, you will find an icon here by the name Apple iPhone. And if you bring it up, it will display the internal storage. You need to click on it and then it will display all kind of folder inside your iPhone. And from here, what you can do, you can bring up the folder, each and every folder. You will find all kind of photos and videos inside that. So either you can copy, you can move or you can cut all the photos and videos from this iPhone to your desired destination on the Windows PC or laptop. So go through each and every folder here, just copy or move the file to wherever you want to on your PC and laptop. So this was the first and the basic method. Now let's move with the second method. And this method is useful for the user who don't have the cable or don't want to use any kind of cable. So on your Windows PC and laptop, you need to search for the hotspot in the Windows search, open it, enable the mobile hotspot and make sure a share over has been selected to the Wi-Fi. Then below you can see the hotspot name. Now you can come to your iPhone, connect to this Wi-Fi network. So I will search for the Wi-Fi name here. All right, so once I will get it, I will just connect it and enter the same password that is being displayed on the Windows Mobile Hotspot page. So enter the password, then you need to tap on join. And once you will be joined to this uh, hotspot network, you can even find these detail on your computer where it will display the device is connected one of eight. It will show your device name, the IP address and the physical address. All right. Now, once you are connected with the hotspot next on iPhone, you have to open up the files. So look for files, bring it up. Once you get it on the right in top, you will find the three dot tap on it. And then here you get an option of connect to server. So tap on connect to server and then it will ask you the server address. So in order to get the server address, again, come back to your Windows PC and laptop. Type here CMD. In the command prompt, you have to type IP config. And hit the enter key. Now this will display all kind of your internet connection adapter. Now you need to look for the Wi-Fi here. And then you can look for the IP version 4 address. So once you get the IP, now come back to your iPhone and type in the server here. Once you have entered the IP, now you can tap on connect. And in connect as choose guest, make sure you don't choose a registered user. Once you have selected the guest, tap on next. And then you will be getting this kind of folder that's saying users. So once you see this folder, now again, you have to come back to your Windows PC and laptop. Now don't worry. You only have to do this for one time. So don't get panic that this is a long procedure. No, this you don't have to do each and every time. You need to configure this only one time. All right. So please focus on it. Again, come to your desktop, PC or laptop, right click on the desktop, choose new folder and name as iPhone photos or photos of iPhone, whatever you want to name. Once you have renamed, right click on it. Choose properties. Go to the sharing option here from the top menu. Click on share. In the drop down, choose guest. Click on add and give the permission level of both read and write. Click on share. Then click on advanced sharing. Check the option of share this folder. Click on permission and give the full control here for the allow. Click on apply, click on okay. Again, click apply, click on okay and click on close. All right, so that's it. 
now you can easily transfer the photos between the iPhone and the Windows. So either you can transfer from your iPhone to Windows PC laptop or from Windows PC laptop to the iPhone. How this will work? So if I come back to my iPhone here, so I will look for my user account folder, tap on it. Then I will tap on desktop because I have the folder uh, that I created on the Windows is on the desktop. So I will choose the desktop here and bingo. Now you can see the iPhone photos folder over here. So right now I don't have anything. So what I can do, I can transfer the photos on my iPhone to this particular folder that I have created. So for example, I will take few pictures here. One, two. Uh, let's take this one. Alright, so I will take few of them. Then I will tap on this share icon at the left hand corner. Then choose save to files. And here you have to tap on browse. Scroll down a bit, you will find the shared option. And here you will be getting the same IP of the server that belongs to your computer. So tap on it. Again, you will come to the same destination. Tap on users. Go to your username, desktop, choose the same folder. And then tap on save. So now all the photos and videos will be copied to this particular folder. Alright, so now once you have transferred the photos and videos to that particular location, again, you can come back to your computer. And this time, if you bring up the folder here, so boom, you will find all the photos and videos that you transferred. So this was one time configuration guys. Now from the next time, whenever you have to transfer any photos or videos, you can simply move that photo and video to this particular folder. And then you can easily access either from the iPhone or from the Windows PC laptop. So this was the second method that you can try. Now let's move with the third method where again, you will have to connect your iPhone to the PC laptop using the cable only. Once you have connected, allow the permission. Then bring up the photos app from your PC or laptop. So search for photos, bring it up. And in the photos from the left hand side, you will find all kind of devices connected to your PC or laptop. So if you click on the three line here, so you will find this PC iCloud photo, the hard drive you have connected, then you will find the Apple iPhone. So click on Apple iPhone and this will display and start loading entire library of your iPhone. So you need to wait here. Once everything has been loaded, now what you can do, whichever photo and video you want to transfer, you can select from here. Once selected, tap on add for item at the right hand top. Then it will ask you the location where exactly you want to transfer. So either you can choose the location given over here. And if you want to create a new folder, then you can also do that. So I will choose pictures. Then I can do a create folder and name it as iPhone. Once done, I will tap on save and you will find that the importing has been started. Now this will be depending that what kind of files you have selected and it may take some time. And once it will be done, now you can view all your photos and videos from this particular location. Now there are even many more options here, but I won't be discussing about that as I'm only sharing here the best three methods of transferring the photos and videos between the iPhone and the Windows PC and laptop. So hopefully guys, you will enjoy this video, found the information useful. If yes, please hit the like and subscribe. And let me know in the comment section that which method basically you like the most and which method you were using earlier. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.